So here we have the Peugeot 108 on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot, given the size of the car, you'll see we have plenty of boot space along with that 50-50 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer in the middle. Uh, and within that section, you can see the total miles on this car are 6,119. Beneath that, we have the fuel gauge for the car. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have stereo controls. And on the right-hand side, the ability to answer and end phone calls. That is, of course, after such time as you've paired the phone up. And that is done on the touchscreen in the center. Down here, you can see the phone icon. Press that and then you pay your phone from there, which we are obviously not going to do at this point in time. Uh, when it comes to music in this car, obviously we have the radio, so we have FM, AM and DAB. If you listen to your own music, you can do by USB input. You can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio and there's auxiliary input as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music in this car. And if I put the car into reverse, you'll see the full colour reversing camera with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in in relation to the image that you see on the screen. Working our way down, we have the air conditioning. So you can, with this outer dial, determine the temperature. You can see that white line just there. The fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. And when you're happy with those settings, this button turns the air conditioning off in this case, or back on again. Beneath that, we have a 12 volt charging socket as well as the auxiliary and USB inputs for your music devices. Two cup holders and a five-speed manual gearbox. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.